Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of MJ Every Day here in the gym with another training based episode for you guys. Gonna go through how to correctly kick up dumbbells. So if you're doing a flat dumbbell press, an incline dumbbell press, a dumbbell shoulder press, any, generally speaking, any type of pressing movement involving dumbbells, you have to be able to get those dumbbells from the floor or from the rack up to the pressing position, whether it's a shoulder press, a chest press, an incline press, whatever it may be. So I'm here in the gym with Boss Josh. What are you about to hit, Boss Josh? A bit of flat dumbbell, flat dumbbell press. So let's, let's put the dumbbells on the floor. Let's, let's show the viewers exactly how this is done from a starting position. So obviously, you can go off the rack or you can go dumbbells on the floor. Pick them up. Let's go, let's show them. So obviously you're going to want to pick the dumbbells up in, a, in a, effectively a dumbbell deadlift position. So a nice straight back, making sure you don't injure yourself. And then you want to place the dumbbells right on the edge of your knee. So I'm going to get a little bit, a little few, few different angles for you guys here. From this angle, I'm going to get you a top angle as well. So you can kind of see that those dumbbells are really right on the edge of Boss Josh's knee. You don't want to bring them too close to your hips to show Bosch close to your hips, you don't want to bring them too close there because then you're not going to be able to kick them back and obviously you don't want them too far to the edge of your knee or else they're going to slide off. So you want to put them right as comfortably as you can on the edge of that knee like that. And then from that position, Bosch, go for it. You're going to lean back and you're going to use your knees to push the dumbbells back into the starting position. Show us that again, man. Just go back from the start once again. So I'm gonna get a different angle for you guys. All right, hit it. So kick it back with your knees into the starting position, just like that. Once more for me. Let me get a little bit of a different angle once again. We're gonna go for a side angle on this one. So from the starting position, kick it back, using your knees to support and to guide the dumbbell into the starting position. And from there, you can press. Go ahead and press, Bosch. Show us some of that clean form on that flat dumbbell bench press. Delicious. All right, back to the starting position. So that really is how you kick up weights. And whether you're going to hit a flat dumbbell press like Boss Josh just did, or whether you're going to hit an incline press with something like that, an incline bench, or you're going to hit a shoulder press, the technique is exactly the same. So the dumbbells come off the rack, onto the floor, you lift them off the floor with a nice flat back, straight back, dumbbell deadlift effectively is what you're doing onto the tip of your knees, not too far so they don't slide off, not too far towards your hips or else you're not gonna be able to use your knees to kick them up. And from that position, you lean back onto the bench, you use your knees to guide the dumbbells up to the starting position, and from that position, that is where you press. Boss Josh, you got anything you'd like to add, man? No, man. You're a fantastic model in the gym for us. Thank you. Perfect thank you. form with the dumbbell, uh, dumbbell kick up or, <laughs> or kicking up the dumbbells for your pressing movement. Guys, that's a wrap for today's episode of MJ Every Day. How to correctly kick up dumbbells to start that dumbbell pressing movement. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on on your cell phone, your mobile, and your desktop PC so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Until tomorrow, I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. Stay massive.